Hello, I said in the last part that God came in the form of Christ Jesus in the earth, on the earth and lived here and left his Holy Spirit here to tabernacle with us. It's our choice whether to tabernacle with him and go to heaven or reject him and go to hell. Now, during the time when the Israelites were in the wilderness, I said the last part, they were committing sins. They were violating God's commandments. So whenever a violation happened, God instructed them for offerings. What offerings? Sin offerings. Offerings of, of deliverance. Offerings of well-being. It's written in Leviticus chapter 23 verse 15 onwards. So, they have been committing, they often committed sins and you know, they waded away. They escaped from the consequences of, you know, the effect of sins by offering this sin sacrifices, sin offerings, atonement, offerings of atonement. So, for this lamb or goat or bulls were used. Because forgiveness of sin, for every forgiveness of sin, blood has to be shed. That is what the Bible says. I will give the scripture on the screen. I will give the scripture on the screen. For every sin, blood has to be shed. Now, Old Testament time, the blood of bulls or the blood of pigeons or the blood of bull, uh, you know, lamb or the blood of rams was shed. Now, God saw his people that this is the people created by him. God created this people and they are you know, falling into sin. They are obeying devil on and often. A divine establishment for forgiveness of sin according to God, the true one God is offering. It's shedding of blood. That's a law. That's an establishment of God. Why so? We can't ask God. See, there are different things we cannot ask God. So that was you know, the, the solution. That was the remedy for the sin. Now, God, in his love, he said, okay, you are offering a lamb or a bull and, uh, you know, or a dove or a pigeon as a remedy for your sin. Okay, I understand. You have been offering and offering and offering, but no deliverance completely for you. Again and again, you are falling. So now, I love you so much because I created you. I become the lamb. The lamb you are offering now on the tabernacle for remissions of your sin, for remedy of your sin, sin of atonement. Now, because I love you so much, now I am coming to you as an eternal lamb in the form of Christ Jesus. That's what you know, John the Baptist in the uh, word of God in John, I think chapter 2 or 3, he says, no, lo, this is the lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. The lamb of God, the Old Testament, there are different lambs of wood, bulls of wood, pigeons of wood, but they did not take away their sin. They did not obtain permanent forgiveness. But here, God said, now because I love them, I am coming in the form of a human and I am going to be the lamb. I am going to be the, your sacrifice. I am going to shed my blood for you. I am going to you know, make a way in such a way that your sins are forgiven eternally if you believe me, if you have faith in me, if you follow me and if you ask for forgiveness from me from the heart and repent truly and this lamb the eternal lamb as an eternal lamb I am coming and just Jesus came as an eternal lamb that's what you know the birth of Jesus the birth of Jesus happened in such a way that he was born in a place where lambs sheep were bred you know Many people think Jesus was, uh, you know, born in a cow shed because he chose to be the lamb for eternal sacrifice to offer himself. Symbolically, even his birth, he depicted in such a way, he came in such a way, he had to be born on a place, on a setup among the sheep where there is a breeding ground of sheep, he was born. When was Jesus born? Many think December 25. No. I said in the other video that God wanted to tabernacle in this world. God wanted to tabernacle with the people in this world tangibly, face to face and wanted to live in them and with them. So, Yahweh chose the form of, chose the form of Christ Jesus 
who was already with Yahweh Christ Jesus, the Holy Spirit was already with Yahweh, all three are one, but three, but this is Trinity, this is the secret of Trinity, we cannot dwell more on that, it will confuse you. So God came as Christ Jesus for tabernacling. Now when he came for tabernacling, first he came to offer himself as the eternal lamb of sacrifice for the atonement of sins. So he depicted in such a way, he presented in such a way, he came in such a way that Jesus born, was born in a place where sheep were bred. They were no taking care of sheep and that is, was the breeding ground of sheep. Then that manger, in that setup, in that place only was Jesus born because he simply, it's a, you know, symbolically he depicted to the whole world uh, so that the people may know he is also the, he is the eternal lamb of God. One son forever who will offer an eternal remedy for sin, eternal permanent solution for sin. Second thing is, he came to tabernacle with the human beings in the world, his people. So, God ordained his birth in such a way that he was born during the feast of tabernacles. Not during Christmas 20, not during December 25, 5th. No. Jesus was born in the month of September for sure. Now you may ask, how do you know this? There are different pointers. I will give you some pointers. You can decide. You need not accept what I say, but you can still do a search for yourselves. Now during the time Augustus was ruling, there was an order which came. So everyone has to register their names. So at that time, Mother Mary, Mary was pregnant and still not married, but Joseph was taking care of him, her. So they had to travel to register their name. It is in that situation, Mother Mary, the mother of Jesus, gets birth pangs. And you know, so, you know, I think in the mind of uh, Joseph and Mary, they thought we will just go and register our names and come, come back fast. But God ordered in such a way because he is also going to be the eternal lamb of God. He is also wanting to come into the world for tabernacling with his people. He chose a season where the Feast of Tabernacles and uh, uh, was there around and he symbolically depicted by being born in a sheep breeding ground that he is also eternal lamb of God. How it happened? So as I said, Mary and Joseph was struck now. He, she had pain now and sh they were searching for rooms. You know, in the olden days also, we had, they had rooms and lodges and they called us inns, I-N-N. -N. So they were searching up and down. But they knew that uh, after some search, I am sure that they will not get any rooms. Why? Because it was during the Feast of Tabernacles, the birth pangs of Mary came. Because it was during the Feast of Tabernacles, the birth pangs of Mary came, she Mary and Joseph couple could not find any place. Why? Because during the Feast of Tabernacles, Jews from all over the world, people of God from all over the world, come to Jerusalem, come to Israel, come to the place surrounding there. Lacks and lacks of people and they already booked their rooms, they already lodged inside, all are full. This Feast of Tabernacles are celebrated for seven days every year. So every male, every member, a male member of the house of Israel, of a Jew, of the people of God has to come. It's a mandate. It's written in the Bible. It's an order by God to remember the tabernacling in the wilderness, to remember God's goodness, God's blessing. So it, uh, they have to come. So all the devout Jews, all the Jews were there in Jerusalem much before you know, the feast would start. You know why? Because the feast was for seven days. So they would come at least two or three or four days before. 
find a place or one week before find a place rest themselves then stay for another seven days finish the feast then go ahead at least this all this juice will stay for 15 to 20 to 30 days so all these 30 days the rooms and inns and lodges and everything were full now i'm sure as they search for rooms for mary's birth pangs you know to deliver the baby i'm sure mary and joseph realized this is the feast of tabernacle season there will be no rooms here because already everything is booked all the jews from the world around have come here to you know um, celebrate that feast of tabernacle so no room so now what happens now at least now there will be another safe place because we need cloth, we need a secure place, we need protection. Let us go to a place where there is some security and they found a place outside Jerusalem, uh, you know, outside Jerusalem, which happened to be a place where the shepherds were breeding sheep.